Huntington's disease is a relentless uh, neurodegenerative disease caused by a single genetic mutation and this results in a uh, progression of cognitive and motor decline as well as a loss of overall functional abilities uh, typically uh, striking individuals in the prime of their life uh, when they're around uh, 40 to 45 years old uh, and the situation is typically an individual has a family, so it's also a family disease. And sadly, uh, presently, there are no therapies that exist to halt or slow this relentless clinical progression, which usually results in profound disability and death uh, in the majority of individuals uh, between 8 and 22 years post onset of symptoms. There is a prodromal phase in Huntington's disease uh, where uh, individuals have cognitive and motor features that are subtle and beneath the threshold of clinical diagnosis. That period lasts approximately oh, 10 or greater years, um, so individuals can indeed present to clinics with um, these subtle symptoms and uh, unless there's a family history, it can actually take a physician some time to come to arrive at the hunt a diagnosis of Huntington's disease, which is based upon a genetic test. It's a very exciting time in Huntington's disease because there's been the advent of RNA therapeutics that can target the more proximal causes of the disease. And uh, this has been an approach which has been worked on for over 25 years, uh, coincident, ironically enough, with the discovery of the Huntington's gene in the early 1990s. And it's taken that long uh, to optimize uh, therapeutic strategies that target the proximal uh, cause of the disease. So now we're in a very um, uh, hopeful time where there are many uh, therapies in development, including our own, which aim to uh, lower the Huntington protein which is the cause of the disease. RG6042 is a short synthetic strand of DNA uh, that is made in the test tube and then uh, can uh, bind the target mRNA which uh, is the, uh, the substance which produces the Huntington protein which causes the disease. RASO binds to the mRNA, prevents the translation of the mRNA into the protein, and thereby suppresses and lowers the causal protein in the disease. Today we presented the nine-month uh, open-label study analysis of the ongoing open-label uh, study, which is a 15-month study, uh, and those results showed that RG6042 in both the Q4-week arm and Q8-week arm was well tolerated across the arms. Uh, we have had also the knowledge now that we can sustainably lower the protein in CSF, uh, which is a result which is right in line with our preclinical uh, PKPD model predictions. And today's talk was outlining the overall strategy of how we translate what is a preclinical finding into the clinical results we observe. Uh, presently, our program is in a global development phase. We have a pivotal study running, the Generation HD1 uh, trial in manifest HD or symptomatic individuals with HD. We also have the open label study ongoing, which will roll into a long term open label study to test long term safety and tolerability. Uh, individuals in the open label study have already been exposed uh, approximately one year to RG6042. Uh, we're also further exploring the um, acute time course of lowering of CSF mutant Huntington and ASO exposure in the CSF and plasma in a PKPD study. And uh, we're also conducting a natural history study, which is investigating the prognostic value of CSF mutant Huntington on clinical outcomes over time. And that natural history study has a unique feature where, where it will be used to compare to the OLE so we can infer uh, objective measures of drug effects such as CSF mutant Huntington lowering, changes in NFL clinical outcomes as well as digital clinical outcomes we're measuring, and that natural history study kind of doubles as an external comparator to the ongoing open label study.